Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to the Student Investor Podcast with myself, Ivan Sambo. Today, guys, we are talking about why are ETF exchange traded funds becoming more of a popular investment option for a lot of average entry level South Africans, and why are people leaving and stop buying individual shares in the JSE but to buying shares of ETF? When we talk about individual Individual shares, guys, are talking about shares of a specific company, for example, shares of Telcom, uh, shares of ShopRite, shares of Capital Bank. But when we talk about an ETF, we are talking about a basket of different shares grouped into one. For example, in the JSE, we have what is known as the Top 40 ETF, meaning this is a basket that has shares of all the top 40 biggest companies in the JSE and grouped into one when you buy buy that ETF called the JSE Top 40 ETF, you get all the top 40 biggest company in the JSE in one buy. So that is what an ETF is and that is what an individual um, share or company is in the JSE. Guys, without wasting any time, let's get into this episode and talk about why are people moving away from buying individual shares in the JSE into buying ETF and why are ETF becoming favorable as well at the same time, how can you actually invest into ETF yourself? Without wasting any time, guys, do ensure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, guys, give us a review of what you think about the episode to better improve for next time. Without wasting any time let's get into it Hello, official millionaires and billionaires. Welcome to the Student Investor Podcast with myself, Ivan Sambo. As I said in the intro, today's episode is covering why are average South African entry level South Africans moving away from in, from investing into individual shares into in the JSE to investing into ETF and how can you yourself as well invest into ETF? In the beginning of this uh, podcast episode, I did try my best to give a definition of what is an individual share in the JSE and what is an ETF share. So, let's talk about why exactly people are moving away from individual companies in the GSE. Um, I was scrolling on Twitter and I happened to find out, I found a tweet. Um, I forgot the author of the tweet, but I want to credit them, whoever they are. But I forgot the author of the tweet. They were talking about why they talk about why they don't like individual companies in the JSE any, anymore. And I clicked that tweet to read the comments and what people are saying. And I recognize a trend that I've also been seeing in a lot of my posts and tweets as well. That people are no longer happy with individual companies in the JSE and their performance. And how they perform. And they say individual companies are no longer reliable. And I understood their position because overall... I couldn't find any stats that support this notion, but I will explain it. I hope you guys will understand when I say this. There is no stats to back this, but individual companies tend to be more risky and perform less compared to ETF. There is no record or proof that shows that overall in the GSE, on average, ETF perform better than individual companies. We do not have an overall average proof of that. I couldn't find it myself. I couldn't do the calculation myself. It's too much data to calculate and reach that end. But I couldn't find that. But my idea is this. What I've noticed that when you pick individual companies in the GSE, you cannot invest into all the companies listed in the GSE. So what happens that as, an, as a person, when you start investing to shares in the GSE, you have yourself to pick companies. And much of the time, people pick companies that perform poorly on average compared to when they pick ETF. People will pick ETF in the JSE and also pick individual companies and put them in their portfolio. And people have noticed that their individual companies they picked in the JSE perform worse compared to the ETF they've picked in the JSE and invested into it. Those ETF perform better. This is because of four reasons. I want to touch on those reasons, guys. Uh, I don't know why this tablet of mine closed itself. Uh, here we go. Number one. 
ATF already are diversified instruments by their existence. Meaning that already when you are buying an ETF, you're not buying a specific individual company, but you're investing into either a sector or an index or a geographical location that you want. Let's use the Johannesburg Top 40 ETF. When you buy the Johannesburg Top 40 ETF and put 200 rand there, you are buying shares of 40 companies in one buy. But when you take 200 rand and buy four companies at 50 rand each, those are four companies that you invested into. So the risk is more higher in those four companies you put your 200 trend in compared to the 200 trend you put into one ETF and 40 companies under that ETF. It doesn't make sense. So that's why I my presumption is that why ETF investors are more happy compared to individual companies uh, investors. Secondly, guys. What I have noticed around ETF investors is that, not around ETF investors, but around the JSE investment as a whole, is that currently there's a lot of delisting that's happening in the JSE. And that delisting means that a lot of companies in the JSE are removing themselves from being listed individually in the JSE and they're going private or whatever the case may be that they are doing. And that puts a very much poor liquidity and poor performance and like the just individual companies are not that much good but the etf because there's so much variety there there's so much option there you are more, more likely to succeed on etf thirdly etf in the jse are low cost and they are cost effectively meaning they don't charge that much fees it's cheaper to buy ETF than it is to buy individual shares, if that makes sense. At the same time, because of a tax-free savings account, meaning you can invest into shares of, of ETF in the JSE and also not pay tax on it, but you can't do that in individual companies. And that's why I think we are seeing so much of a shift of South African, especially the entry level, and we're trying to save as much as possible to save every little cent they have. They're shifting away from individual companies to eat here, to save on tax, to save on management costs, to save on brokerage costs, to save into all of that. And at the same time, do remember that a lot of ETF providers are cheaper compared to other brokers that provide individual companies and ETF. If that makes sense. So I think that's why we are seeing this much movement of or revolution. I can't use the word revolution, but so much movement of people from individual companies in the JSE to ETF. Also, another thing as well is liquidity, right? What do I mean about that? ETF are traded on the JSE, guys, often on high liquidity. This means that investors can buy and sell ETF easier compared to individual company. This provides a huge level of flexibility guys, to a lot of investors because they know I can buy that ETF at any given time and I can sell it at any given time while that's not true to majority or some please don't quote me correct don't, yeah, majority or some individual companies in the GSE. So for me, I think that as well plays a role into why people are moving to ETF, exchange it, trade it fast. Guys, do remember, I'm not here to promote one against the other. I am still an individual share guy. I love individual stocks more than ETF personally. But I will not speak lies and act like it's all beautiful on the individual share side of the GSE. Right. Um, so the last point, I said, no, no, I know I said four points, but the last point is we want to touch on about why this huge move from it from individual companies to shit to shit up to ETF in the JC is also around the idea that ETF now provide you more 
variety of assets compared to individual companies. The JSE we don't have that much opportunities in terms of sectors and in industries you can invest into because a lot of companies in South Africa are not advanced to the stage of what other countries are doing out there like tech, pharmaceutical companies and all of that. We don't have that much sectoral focus on that. While ETF as well can offer that because they invest international into different fields and focus in different um, indexes or different sectors or different industries or different geographical location. So I think as well that plays a huge role into it. So next question is like, okay, Ivan, I want to invest into ETF. But remember, guys, I know what I said today constitutes as financial advice. But anyway, let's continue. I even want to invest into ETF. How do I do that? Your brokerage platforms. Uh, your Easy Equity, your Satrix now, your Shift, your ProStock, your um, Frank App. Uh, Frank App only has one. Uh, your FNB. All of them do provide you guys access to ETF. They download their apps or go to your nearest bank, bank branch. I know FA Southern Bank as well has a ETF provider. But not just Shift, but they also have something inside. I forgot the name right now. But you can ask and you can get access to, uh, to ETF investment through that way in the JSE or in the New York Stock Market with Shift or ProStock or Easy Equity. Uh, and your bankers as well. Um, Capitec has the Easy Equity app built inside it. Standard Bank have their own Standard Bank online trading share platform, which you can use. Same with FNB, same with NetBank. You can go to your nearest branch of your bank and ask. They'll assist you on how to access those. Uh, or you can download the apps of Easy Equity. The shift pro stock um satrix now get out of those app you can use them do let me know in the comment section of this video guys would you like me all of this episode just video but i know there's audio as well let me know would you like me to make a weekly review of each etf i love let me know in the comment section of this video and i'll do that until next time guys please to be safe enjoy yourself as always happy investing